And the news we've been talking about for the past couple of weeks finally came today, Paul. Yeah, that's right. Uh, thank you very much, Tony. Of course, we're talking about the WHL, which we will get to in a minute, but it was a very bittersweet day for the Victoria Salmon Kings. This morning, the WHL announced they are returning to Victoria next season, and as a result, the ECHL is done. But in the meantime, the Kings are in round two of the Kelly Cup playoffs, and we're looking to take a commanding 3 nothing series lead tonight against the Utah Grizzlies. Lots of fans coming out to support the boys tonight. That's awesome to see as these guys deserve it. Kings look to take the lead in the first. Kyle McLeod digging for the puck in front. Can't get it to go. This game was scoreless after one. Utah strikes first in the second. Simon Ferguson, the great individual effort for his fourth of the postseason. One zip for the visitors. Then exactly 30 seconds later, they're going to strike again. Paul McKillvian gets the gift at the side of the net. Just like that. Two nada. Utah. Kings get one back before the end of the frame. Milan Geich is going to feed Kyle McLeod, and the big man slips at five hole on J.P. Lamaru. It was 2-1 Utah after two. But the Kings keep rolling in the third on a power play, and Max Sedol is going to pick up the huge marker to tie this game at two. Yeah, they were going crazy at the rink. This one needed to be solved in overtime, and just 11 seconds into the extra frame, here come the Kings. Josh Aspelin, the OT winner. Sam and King Sam, we're not going anywhere. They win this one 3 2. The final take a commanding 3 0 series lead. They can wrap up the series in game four, which goes on Friday night. And as Czech Sports first told you, the WHL is coming to Victoria next year as the Chilliwack franchise has been purchased by RG Properties. The announcement was made this morning at the Save On Foods Memorial Center, and everyone involved is pretty excited. Uh, you're going to see an existing team that's going to be in a competitive position right off the bat. And I think that uh, the fans will really respond. If uh, our experience here during the Subway Super Series a couple years ago was any indication uh, for the sold-out building uh, when Team WHL was here, I think that they're going to be really excited to see our players play. Having them here just brings more prestige to the town. It's, it's, what, it's what we want to see. I, I think that we've heard from the residents. and you know This is going to be our team, and now we get to renew that rivalry. And I'm waiting for the Vancouver Giants to come in. It's not that they're making money or anything. They're doing this for $50 a week, and they're leaving their homes. And that's just to pay for their school supplies, really. I mean, this is truly the dream, and it's a community that needs to be around it. Exciting stuff. And as we know, this isn't the first time the Western Hockey League has been in Victoria. From 1971 to 1994, the Victoria Cougars played out of Memorial Arena. So let's hop in a time machine and take a look back at those years and how the league found its way back to the capital. <laughs> For 23 years, the Victoria Cougars of the Western Hockey League were the top ticket in town. From 1971 to 1994, hockey fans saw a myriad of talent come through the barn on Blanchard, including five-time Stanley Cup goalie Grant Fuhrer, who we see here posting his first career shutout as an 18-year-old. Last year I should have had it last year, but I goofed up a few times, so I'm glad I got this year before the road trip. But in the early 90s, the team started to fall apart. It has to be extremely difficult for this group of young men to continue to be motivated when you lose game after game. Missing the playoffs in their final five seasons, fans stopped showing up. And as a result, the team shipped off to Prince George. For the next 10 years, Victoria hockey fans were left with only Junior A in the capital until the Victoria Salmon Kings came around in 2004. With the new team came a new rink, and once again, the WHL took notice, even staging a Super Series game in the capital, where talk of the league returning stole the headlines. A great atmosphere, great building. Uh, it would be great if uh, you know they ever decided to come into the Western Hockey League. This would be a great franchise. Victoria would be a great hockey city, and uh, I mean, it's a little tough with the ferries, but I wouldn't mind uh, taking it. I mean, who knows what's going to happen? It'll be uh, interesting to see. Shot wide goal. Off the end, Portis. And now it's coming back in the form of the Chilliwack Bruins, who joined the WHL as an expansion franchise in 2006. And while bringing in the juniors means pro hockey is out, most fans in the capital don't seem to mind. I think there's a lot more passion than the young guys, um, a lot more hard trying to get, um, get up in the NHL. The uh, younger players have more to uh, play for. They're still trying to fight for a future in the NHL. 
And the WHL is hoping that attitude sticks this time as the Western Hockey League returns to Victoria. Comes in, gets a shot away, scores! 